Good morning. Welcome to day 36. It's really cold. I have a ton of condensation in my tent and my sleeping bag is damp. I'm so mad. I even set my tent poles up even higher, like at 122 centimeters. So I don't know what the heck's going on here. We have a lot of miles to do today. Scout's already up. Chief's awake. But I don't want to get out of my sleeping bag. It's so cold. <laughs> I just want to stay in here until the sun comes up. <laughs> I don't think I can do that, though. Um, I slept pretty good. Put my earplugs in. That always helps. Happy Tuesday. I'm not sure if you can see the sparkle of the condensation. That drips down onto my sleeping bag. Sorry, the light's not working, but it's not cooperating with me. You can see that, and it's all damp. So very grateful for this incredible day. Feel well rested. Took care of my blister last night. It's damn cold, so I'm putting my phone away. <laughs> Good morning again. It's beautiful out here today. So when we woke up this morning, <clears throat> Chief said it was about 30 degrees. So it did get warmer, which is yay, always welcome. But it took us a little bit of time to get moving. Uh, Scout was out, <laughs> still dark. <laughs> and uh, we started around eight, I think. So it's been mostly uphill since we left, which is always welcome on a cold morning. So it helps get you warmed up. And um, yeah, we crossed a pretty busy road and I didn't want to do any recording there because it was so loud with the trucks and stuff but it's beautiful out it's supposed to go up to about 56 I think today and then tonight we'll be down in the 30s and we'll be in a shelter so it might rain tomorrow but we are headed into a town so that's fine we don't care we can dry our stuff out Tomorrow, Wednesday will be a Nero. Today we're doing about 19, 20 miles. Tomorrow will be a Nero. And then back at it Thursday. And hope to be in Virginia. Can you believe that? We actually hope to be in Virginia by the weekend.
Even the birds know it's getting warmer. They're so happy they're singing. Yeah, it definitely looks like coyote scat. All that fur in it, I believe. This is Jones Falls, and it is an absolute must-see Blue Blaze Trail. Wow! Oh, look at that! Oh. This waterfall is incredible, especially with all the ice. It, it's just wow. This is Jones Falls. It's 0.1 off of the AT in Tennessee, and it's well worth the 0.1. I mean, it'd be worth a half a mile to me. <laughs> it's gorgeous. So not only did we just pass the 400 mile mark, but we have a beautiful sunny day and these gorgeous falls to celebrate. Unbelievable. What a gift. Waterfalls and Twinkies. They just go together. And I was just saying how much we would love to walk down there and have lunch on that little peninsula. And if it was summer, we'd be putting our shorts on and going swimming. It's beautiful. I would love to go down there, hang out. I don't know what river it is, but it keeps teasing me. Oh my gosh, I would love to just sit there and relax, stick my feet in. It's so beautiful. Butterfly. Somebody's with us today. Mountaineer Falls. Gorgeous. Wow, we have been blessed with amazing waterfalls today. Oh my gosh. 
That is awesome. How do you not love that? Springer Mountain, 407 miles that way. That's behind me. I came from there. So I haven't been doing a ton of video today. A couple reasons. One, this is pretty much what it's been looking like. Either this or I'm walking through a beautiful rhododendron green tunnel. I feel like you guys have seen a lot of that type of scenery already. And I don't need to just turn the camera on for the sake of talking just to talk. I don't know. It's, uh, it's weird. I think that whenever I hit one of these mile milestones, <laughs> 100, 200, 300, 400 miles, I feel like I should be, I am, and I am, don't get me wrong. Okay, so I am very, very happy. I am super proud of myself. I am, I'm blown away by the journey that I've had thus far. I am, I really am. And honestly, like 35 days ago, I seem so far away. It really does. When I think about everything that I've seen every single day and how incredibly different it is and in some ways it's the same, but every day has just been magical out here. Even the shitty days are, there's something there. There's something, you know, when you dig deep and you root around and you push all the soil away, there's something underneath those desperate days where you just feel like home is a lifetime away. But I don't know, there's something also wrapped up in that whole thing with uh, the achievement of hitting 400 miles today where I get a little sad, I get a little homesick because I think, okay, 400, there's still a lot left. But I gotta just look at it one day at a time and I know that, but a little part of me does get a little sad. Um, hey, if I didn't, there'd be a bigger problem, right? <laughs> Maybe I got some problems kind of going on at home. I don't know if I didn't miss it, right? <laughs> I'm not saying my life is perfect, you know what I mean. But anyway, it's definitely a much warmer day today. It's amazing how different the weather has been in the past two days even let alone three days ago I can't even believe it and there's bugs out today and butterflies and we had lunch at Mountaineer Shelter and not the shelter but actually the campsite above the shelter and I pulled all my stuff out of my bag because I needed to dry out my sleeping bag from all the condensation from last night and Chief was done eating, so I'm like, yeah, just go, whatever. So he left, and I was just hanging out there for a little bit by myself, repacking everything. And then I walked, I don't know, maybe a hundred yards from there. And, you know, you, you're looking down a lot, and especially when I'm wearing a baseball hat, it sort of hides a little bit of what's ahead of me. And you're always looking at the trail because you don't want to trip or slip or whatever. I look up and there's two deer standing right in front of me, staring at me. And I just froze. I knew if I even tried to get my camera, they were gone. And sure enough, I literally picked up my hand very slowly to go pull my phone out and they were off into the woods. But it was such an incredible moment. I was like, oh my gosh. Like, that's a moment I don't ever wanna forget. <laughs> it was just so spectacular. And it was just my moment, which was kinda of cool too. There was no one else to share it with, just me and God. <laughs> and it was really beautiful. So. I'm hanging back today and I'm just hiking my own hike. It's amazing the stuff you think about while you're doing this. You think about, 
things from when you were a kid. You think about things in your adulthood. Uh, all the relationships. You think about your loved ones. People you've had conflict with. Every so often you even think about the couple people out there that might have had a hand in making your life miserable at a few moments in time. I don't know. I've been thinking about it with this sort of forgiveness, if you will. Because if there's one thing I've learned in my life, one of the things that I've come to know is that good people can make bad decisions. Sometimes a bad decision doesn't define who that person is. And it's hard to remember that sometimes, but you have to, because somewhere in there, that human being is decent in some way. May not, maybe not to you, but to somebody else or to others and they mean something to somebody. So you kind of got to look at it like, okay, you know, and that goes for me. I've made bad decisions in my life. Of course, I, I absolutely have, but they didn't define me and they won't define me. I'm still a good person, I think. Um, anyway, I'm getting way too friggin' deep here and I don't want to do this. <laughs> I don't want to do this to you is really what I don't, I don't mind having these thoughts, but I don't think you need to sit here and listen to them on your free time. <laughs> All right. I'm going to turn this off for now. There's nothing to read into with that whole deep dive on, uh, I don't know what. <laughs> okay, so that wasn't meant, it wasn't about anyone in particular. It wasn't necessarily about any one situation in my life. It was just me thinking <laughs> as a walk in the woods will do. <laughs> beautiful water. Look at more ice. Ice, ice, baby. <laughs> oh, so pretty. I literally want to just put my feet in there. Oh. If I was closer to the campsite, I probably would. Oh, what a gorgeous little river. This, we just went through Laurel Fork, in case anyone's wondering. That's what this beautiful place is. Oh, so pretty. More ice on trail. I love listening to the sound of the river or stream. That river earlier today, oh, I wanted to sit there so bad. And I'm sitting here thinking to myself, why didn't I? If I really wanted to, why didn't I? I'm not doing anything. I'm hiking. Uh, I don't know. I guess because today's a long day and I didn't really start at a good time. That's beautiful.
believe I've hiked all those mountains that you can barely see through the trees. I'm pretty sure that's Roan. Those are the Roan um, balds and stuff. Holy cow. What a beautiful day. I don't know what these are, but they kind of like grow on some of the rocks. I think there's some sort of a mushroom. Okay, here we are at the shelter and this is how we're gonna be, I think it's gonna be me and Chief here and Scout and another person over there. I seem to be batting a thousand with my apparel. So I have had multiple rips in my rain pants. I went into a hardware store to get hand warmers the other day. I saw a puppy, I ran, went right over to it and it jumped on me and put a hole in my jacket. And now I have just melted a hole in my puffy coat where that duct tape is. I think I'm just clothing jinxed. Yeah. Hey, Scout, what do you got for dinner tonight? I got mac and cheese Ooh. with a, a spam single that I'm going to throw in there. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, I've been looking forward to it all week. <laughs> you have. I love the creativity with your food. You're far more daring than I am. <laughs> What about you, Chief? What have you got on the docket this evening? I got spaghetti. Yum. We got combos. Ooh. And if I'm still hungry, I have uh, chicken broth. And if I'm still hungry, I have a single spam as well. Awesome. We're eating well tonight. I'm trying to empty my bag out. Tonight. Yeah, that's seriously. <laughs> you want to go into town with an empty food bag. And I'm having chicken and dumplings, one of my all-time favorites. Um, I figured I'd save that for tonight when I, after hiking a long day, and so I'm glad I saved that.